Hey, what's going on, everybody? Wanted to do a quick what I've been got in the mail so far this week. Now, a lot of this stuff is not mail. A lot of it's I'm going through. Um, part of it's going to be used for video because I've had a bunch of people recently ask me how to how I package my stuff up for DC Sports and select it and stuff like that. So you guys will see another video of that coming out probably Sunday or Monday. I just got to see what I'm getting that package out to them. So, yeah, a lot of this stuff, I mean, you got like a dollar stack back here, DC, DC, I have no idea, grading off to my side, grading back in the corner, craziness going on anymore. All right, so I did pick, this is the first thing I want to talk about, this Mike Evans silhouette. I love these uh, Crown Royal silhouettes. Anybody that known me for a long time knows these are really cool. I've always liked it because the way they had these cut out and stuff in the past. Uh, Mike Evans, I believe this one, yeah, numbered out of 49. If the Bucks win again this year, you know, without having Antonio Brown and Godwin and stuff like that, I mean, you're looking at your playmaker between him and Gronk really on a team. I mean, you still got some other guys and stuff, don't get me wrong, but... I picked it up. I mean, when you look at this one, two, three color patch onto it, it just presents well. Put it into one touch. I mean, when you're looking at this, boom, in a showcase. I think these are around 140 or something like that, but picked it up into a uh, lethal lottery win, we'll call it. I only got in two this week, so I went one for two, kind of happy. All right. A break from uh, the Monster Den, Jacob Ali. Got my stuff in from him today. Uh, a lot of this stuff, like I said, probably either go in DC or it'll go in my dollar box. If the, and I'll probably run through a dollar box one day when I go live again for, uh, we call it the sales in uh, auction day. So, Beck Green. Uh, not, no, I should say this. I hit both of these teams in the filler. Um, I just helped them actually fill a break, and I end up hitting the Yankees and Brewers. Had a look. So, Beck Green first, Bowman out of 99. That Invicta Dominguez. Kind of weird. Something at the bottom. I have to look at that. Uh, Cuero Ray Wave, I think they're called. Freelich Invicta. Judge Dominguez Refractor. Freelich uh, Rookie or Prospect, whatever they're calling them. Two Yellick Die Cuts. Freelich Genesis. Freelich Chrome. This here will go off to be Graden Land one day, but the Rayway Freelick. I see. I already started prepping stuff. <laughs> all right. G1. We'll go G1. This is all G1 breaks. I took in Bowman's best to Red Sox again. I really tried to get this dude's auto. We're just going to tell you I didn't get it. Um, he had him at 140 a pop. Now I think they're up to like 180 with him, and I just won't spend 180 on, the, on him because I just keep hitting... Either I'll show you when I get into it, but Mayor, Dahlbeck, Blaze. Wait a minute. Is that a Mayor Refractor? Oh, nope. My bad. So one, two, three, four. Four more Mayors. Blaze Refractor. Whitlock Auto. Another Blaze Auto. Mayor Refractor. Future. Die Cut. Refr well, that's odd. Two Refractors in a case. I didn't see it before. So, not bad. Um, we'll see what happens with a lot of that stuff. I, I sent a lot of the other stuff off to DC for their promotion. Figured out I'll take a stab at one out of like probably 10,000 entries. It's some cash. All right, so last was Mosaic. I was really hesitant on getting in Mosaic. And I was chasing mostly... Um, the Bucks and the Chiefs, kind of in a way, and it was really hard to find anybody really a good price breaking more in two boxes at once. So I did get in a couple fillers. This was the first filler I got into. I did hit a Mac Jones debut base. Again, probably not worth much. A couple bucks. This is the silver. There was something he told me on this, and I have no idea. I gotta look to see if I could find it. But I think he said it was either like a fingerprint or a fingernail mark or something on. But I got to look. If I don't think it's going to attend, it's just going to go out to D.C. Josh Jacobs uh, out of 49. Red Peyton Turner. Brady. 
Mahomes Mosaic Men of Mastery. And I'm going to kind of pull these Mahomes out because I know somebody, I think it's Justin, is a Mahomes collector. So maybe we can work something out one time. Sorensen Silver, Mahomes MVP, Hill Swagger, Straight Fire Mayfield, Javante Adams, not numbered. Brady Blue, probably my biggest hit. I think these were going for like around 150, 160. The blue is numbered out 99. This will go off to uh, good old grading land. I'm guessing that 10 might fetch, you know, three, 400 bucks. But I was waiting for this to come in. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I already sent PSA off, so we got to hope we hit the lethal lottery next week. All right, let's keep going here. Dwayne Bowie Auto. Derek Johnson Auto. McCaffrey Silver. Mahomes. 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 Mahomes Center Stages 2. Mahomes. There's a Brady. I like this. These here just go like in my dollar box. It just gets people to your table. You could talk to them. Try to build rapport. Maybe they got something I'm looking for too. Mahomes. Mahomes. Brady. Mahomes. 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 Brady. Evans. Rob. Brady. Brady. Devin White. So... Yeah, if it's not Justin, it's my big Chiefs guy. Because I know I got another one laying somewhere in here. But I'll hold these off in case you want them. I mean, I have no idea. This is probably the most expensive one. I think the Men of Mastery, or the Center Stages, I don't know. I, I thought I saw them at like 5 10 bucks a pop. I could be off. Way, way, way off. I'll have to look it up. But whoever it is, because I also got this Heroes too. Um, you catch me when I'm live, just be like, hey, I'm the guy you were talking about. Unless I already ask ahead of time. And I'll try to get a price up that way. Something we can work out. All right. I think, yep, that's it. I got so many stacks here. I got to start going through stuff again. Other than that, guys, I'm going to be at a show today. Uh, hopefully it was the first time that they were holding it at this area. So I'm really hoping um, some dealers show up with some fresh stuff. Uh, different things that I might be able to get into. I'm about to text my buddy Brian and see, uh, not Strong Crosby, a Brian that lives down here, and see if he was going to set up at it. So I just want to show you some stuff. This is just because I need some filler time for a video too. This is some of the stuff I was looking at grading. This Yellow Dominguez, Aguilar Auto, Maybe one day some Mac Jones. There's that one-on-one -on -one crotch. I, I really don't think I want to grade this. I think it's just going to go to one touch. Uh, uh, Lou Rod. Or, yeah, Lou Rod. We're going to call him Lou Rod. We have a Lou Bob and a Lou Rod. How about that? I'm going to start the name. Bobby Witt. That's a first edition. Um, I think it's like Sky Blue. Dominguez. Oh, Tawny out of uh, 50 from Tier 1. I happen to look this up. They're paying 50 bucks raw for that. Some Blaze. There's that Griffey. Oh, some Nolans. That's from my, these two here, just so you guys know. I don't really ever tell about a lot of people send me stuff for my collection. But uh, CBC sent me these. I don't think I recovered it. Two Nolan Rhines I didn't have for the cool collection. Pretty cool. Uh, I still have these. I don't know why these are still here, but I just started digging through stuff. All right, figured I'd show you guys a little bit of a mail week that I picked up. I don't think there's going to be much of a mail week next week because I didn't really get any breaks this week. Mm. I don't think I even got, like I said, I got two rises. I hit one. Hey, happy with one for two, you know. But other than that, guys, have a good weekend out there. Um, hopefully I do well at the show, find some stuff. And I'm going to be working on the calendar coming up next weekend and, and just so everybody's tracking real quick because i do taxes on a side door in tax season for a few of my clients that i've kept through the years january and february and a little bit because a couple guys uh, have to wait on rental property stuff to come in in march um there's going to be some slow weeks with videos along with doing live so it's just because of tax season so that's why overtime's a little more spread out right now, along with uh, doing any kind of sales or auctions. Um, guys, make sure if you're looking for stuff like that, CBC just pops in and off going live. So 
subscribe to his channel because that way when he goes live, you get that little bell notification weird thingy, and you'll know because he'll be selling stuff. I know I just sent him a PSA order back, and he should be back from vacation today too, I believe. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all later.